If you're not satisfied with the fonts preloaded with Windows 10 and would like a better variety to choose from, I'll show you how to download and install new fonts onto your PC. This might come in handy for use with one of your office products or if you do graphic design to spice things up. It's fairly easy to do, so let's get to it. There's a ton of websites to download fonts online, both free and paid. Of the free sites, two of our favorites include Defont, which has a good variety of unique fonts you won't find elsewhere. And the other free site we recommend is Google Fonts, which also has a great selection to choose from, all of which are completely free for both non-commercial and commercial use. To download any font from any site, just look for a download button and click on it. When the pop-up opens, make sure that save file is selected, then click OK. Choose where you want that file saved to, and then click Save. I'll now show you three different ways to install fonts onto your computer. First of which is by using the right-click context menu. Depending on where you downloaded your font from, you may notice it's in a zip folder. To unpack it, right-click the folder and select Extract All. Choose the location for those files. I'll just leave these in the Downloads folder and click Extract. Now head on over to that folder with the unzipped files. Look for any files with a true type or open type format. True type is .ttf and open type is .otf. Right click on the file and you'll see you have two choices. If you select install, it'll install it for your account only. Or if you have administrator access, you could select install for all users. This will make that font available for everyone that uses your computer. For this one, I'll select install. It should only take a couple seconds for that font to install to your computer, and then you're done. The second of three ways I'll be showing you involves using the Settings app. This method wasn't available until 2018, and it's quite easy as well. To do this quickly, go to the search box and type the word font. Select Font Settings. In this window, you can see all the fonts that you have installed on your computer. Here at the top in the Add Font section, you can easily drag and drop into the window to install. So let's bring up the folder with the new font, select it, left click and drag that fonts file to the settings window and go to the box that says drag and drop to install. When you see the word copy appear on the screen, let go of the file and your font will now be installed. So let's go into that window and here it is. It's called Alpha Slab 1. If you find that you have too many fonts installed, or just want to get rid of the ones that you no longer use, they can be uninstalled from here as well. In the Available Font section, click on the font that you no longer need. In this window, just click on Uninstall. In the pop-up window, click on Uninstall again. And now it's gone. If you prefer the old school methods, I'll now show you how to add fonts using the Control Panel. This one will still work if you still use Windows 7 or 8. In the search box in the lower left, type Control Panel. Select it. So we're looking at the same window. Go to the upper right, and in View By, select Large Icons. Click on Fonts. Let's bring back the File Explorer window. You'll notice this font includes many variations. To add more than one font at a time, Left click the first file here at the top, hold down the shift key, and click the last file in the list. With those files highlighted, left click and drag those files to the control panel. Just like with the settings app, let go when you see the word copy. And of course with more files, it takes a little bit longer. To quickly find any font that you've installed, go to the search box in the top upper right and start typing the name of that font. And here's the font we just installed. To uninstall any font that you no longer need from the control panel, left click on the font, and from the menu bar here at the top, click delete. Or you could just simply right click that font and select delete. Then select yes to confirm, and that's it. And now it's gone. Thanks for watching. Links to the websites mentioned are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our newest videos for Windows, along with other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.